Um, a lot of credit to uh, to Creighton, obviously. Um, you know, heck of an environment to come out and, um, and a lot of energy in the building on a uh, an annual event that that they do that I think is a great event. Uh, raised a lot of awareness and raised a lot of, of money for a great cause. Uh, and they played really inspired. Uh, obviously, you know, we we got them at our place and they were um, you know had had energy toward that as well to uh, to come back at us. I thought the first half. Um, you know, we, we did some things okay and um, left some points on the table uh, offensively, and, and they're a really high-powered offensive team. I thought we slowed them down um, to the degree that, that we could. Um, the fouling early in the first half was when we put them on the line too much. Uh, and then the second half, give them credit. You know, they, they had a uh, – they picked up the energy defensively, uh, made it tougher to get clean looks, um, which puts pressure on, you know, everyone you get. You have to uh, – you got to finish and, and complete the play. So – um, hats off to them. The other guys had a good energy about them, and uh, we just have to have a mindset to embrace this process and continue to grow. I guess, uh, Kamara, what, what, how uh, much did their trap in their heart hedge on the ball screen throw things out of sync offensively? Uh, I would just say <clears throat> caught us a little by surprise, I would say. Um, well, obviously, we knew. I knew they were going to, I guess, do something different from game one. Um, just got handled it better, uh, you know, throw it to open man when he's open. That way we get play on the advantage. Uh, La 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 Laval, was there a concerted effort to kind of run them, uh, to run Creighton off, off the arc? They're, you really re restrained them pretty well. They had a high two-point percentage, but it's probably if you looked at points possession, your, your, your defense was maybe approximately about what you wanted. Yeah, you you know what they do and uh, it really well is they shoot the three, uh, and they've got a ton of shooters on the court. Um, you know, they got Martin uh, running to the rim, and you got to make a decision on how you're going to do it. Uh, we we switched, and they did a good job of uh, being patient and attacking the switch and and kind of catching us it in uh, in long gaps defensively, and they finished. You know, when they drove it, they did they did a good job of finishing in and around the basket. Uh, which you know it was a little tougher at our place. They didn't they didn't finish as well. Uh, so, but yeah, you definitely have to guard the three point line with them. I mean, they make eleven and a half, twelve a game. Uh, so that is you know concern number one I anytime you're playing them. What are your uh, uh, and it may be coincidence, but it, it just it just seems like the you know the offense operates differently in Hinkle Fieldhouse and away from Hinkle. Anything you can pinpoint for, for the difference of that? No, I mean, I thought we got some good looks. I mean, I really did. Is you got to you got to step up and make some of them. Uh, you got to have a mentality about you, uh, and embrace. You know, not not worrying about you know, who you're playing or or where you're playing. It's more how you're playing. Uh, we've got guys that can make shots. Uh, obviously, uh, we've got a number of shooters on the team. Uh, some of them were good looks and didn't fall. Uh, that's why you have to be locked in defensively. Uh, and then when you get opportunities uh, around the basket, uh, make sure you. Like like they did, you know, they finished when they got in the paint. Um, so I think that's uh, you know n nothing different. It's just you know we didn't make enough shots. Joey, do you sense that uh, this team plays any differently on the road than at home, or do you think it's not not quite that not quite that simplistic? Um, you know, we talk about going out and playing with confidence, uh, regardless of of the location where we're playing. Um, that's not really something we ever. We ever talk about, um, you know, it's a tough, tough environment here tonight. But I mean, it's if there's no uh, discussion uh, before the game, you always want to play play with confidence, regardless of where we're at. What was the toughest part about matching up with uh, Creighton's smaller lineup when they have a guy who can be so effective inside when you know when he gets a mismatch against the guard? Yeah, I think that's the um, you know if they get you in rotations, you're you're in a lot of trouble just with all the shooters and they really passed. They had 18 assists tonight. We forced 18 turnovers uh, and they still had 18 assists. So, um, you know, they, you know, coach recruits skilled players. Uh, they've got IQ and they play to their advantages. Um, and then obviously, you know, Martin Kramp Crampley, he did a great job, you know, posting when we switched uh, on the smalls. They found him, they skipped it across the court and you, now you're in closeouts and uh, it's, a, it's a really good offensive attack. And so, like I said, give them credit. Um, that they made some, missed some. You know, I wish late, I think we cut it to uh, seven, I believe, and 
Um, had it at five. You know, probably should have called a timeout. Um, I think they trapped Kamara on the ball screen, and then we, you know, we ended up late in the clock. Um, but you know, you just gotta you gotta be able to score with them. You gotta do the best you can to make it hard for them. You know, on the other end. Yeah, the trap the trap isn't necessarily a bad thing because if you can get a pass out of it, now you're playing four on three. Uh, we didn't make that that read uh, enough times. You know, one more one one less dribble and move it, and now you're playing four on three, and we got guys that can pass and make decisions. Uh, and so, you know, it's something we obviously have to work on uh, and be better if anybody decides to do that again. Uh, any update on? Uh Physically, anybody about how you know? I'm, uh, Kamara went down, got clobbered. Uh, Sean went limping off. Uh, yeah, Sean, we'll, we'll we'll evaluate him when we get back. Um, he went down pretty hard, you know, late there in the game, and so. Was his uh, knee or his ankle? Or? I, I I don't want to say misspeak, so we'll we'll find out when we get back home and take a look at him, uh, or in the locker room here and get back home and take a closer look before we uh, get ready for Marquette next week. What about you, Kamara? Are you wounded or are you all right? No, sir. Are you okay? Kamar, what, what, what does it take to sort of overcome? You guys were within striking distance for really the whole game. Maybe what was the missing piece or what do you think you guys needed just to get over the hump tonight that, that maybe you didn't have? Um, we just we just talk about going again back to back, back to back to backs. Um, here and um, we felt we came up short, you know, we would get two and we weren't, uh, came up short to get the third one. Back to back stop. stop. Yeah, like stop, score, stop. Yeah. Uh, the um, might be hard to measure. Do you think the cumulative effect of seven games in 21 days is wearing on you guys, or is that something that you can even determine? Yeah, I mean, I, I obviously, um, you know, there's a, a physical fatigue, but also uh, an emotional and mental. Um, you know, we were when you're coming out of a stretch like this, where I think today was day 15, where we were either you know on. Uh, practicing or playing a game, uh, and that it, it does take a toll. Um, you know, we have some depth uh, to go to, but I think mental fatigue is. You know, you're prepping and watching film and uh, scout reports, and that even if you're not having a light practice, uh, we try to manage the physical piece as best we can uh, with our athletic trainer and strength and conditioning coach on you know how what we can do and how long. Um, but the mental piece, and when you come out of a couple close losses, it wears on you emotionally. You got to bounce back and. You know, we started back into school, and you know, it's a new routine because you're on break. So all, all those things, uh, you just got to, you know, ta be mentally tough to handle. Um, and so we're, we're in the grind, you know, we're in that stretch. Yeah, and you only have a top 15 team on the schedule next. It's a great thing about the Big East, right? There's opportunities. Yeah, I thought, I thought there was a number that you were, were totally okay with they normally make, um, you know, maybe one or two, but that, um, you know, maybe in question, but, you know, we need them to be aggressive. Uh, and so you can't take that away from them. And I thought you know, they had some clean looks. It just didn't fall. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.